welcome to a let's play of Food Truck Simulator. So we could end up being Gordon Ramsay on wheels. So let's see what this game's like. Let's play. This is the last competition he was healthy enough to participate in. <sighs> At least he had one last victory. And now what? The truck is a mess. Maybe there's something in this album I could use to help me. Dad was always so good at that. Only I can touch the truck, he used to say. No mechanics getting his dirty hands on it. All right, let's get to work. Okay, so it looks like we got some sort of uh, introduction here. Tutorial, we are customizing our food truck. Let's see, what options have we currently got? We've only got, what have we got? We've got three colours to choose from here. Here we go, what colours should we have? I'm not sure. Really like we'll just pick color. any colour quickly. Um, as, hopefully we can change it later on in the game. I don't know. Possibly we can. Right, what's next? What have we got here? Well, it looks like we've got designs. Nah, I don't want that one. Oh, that one, that one looks pretty cool. Oh, and that one's pretty cool. Decisions, decisions, decisions. Right, what can we do here? Looks like we've got some colour options. Mm. Don't know about that. Don't seem to make a great deal of difference, does it, really? Ah. No, not impressed with that. <laughs> I don't dare. Let's put this one on. These sliders don't make a great deal of difference, do they? No, oh, well, that looks about right. That'll do. Right, what's next? New recipes. New recipes. Lots of new recipes coming in. And I have no idea. I'm not a chef, so this is going to get interesting probably later on in the game. I would imagine this game. I would imagine this game is going to keep you uh, very busy. So it looks like we can only just put the uh, basic uh, equipment in. As one would expect at the beginning. <laughs> Dad always made these trips so fun to go on. I'm pretty sure he had a city map laying around here somewhere. Okay, let's go have a wander round. Uh, now there is collectibles in this game, so keep an eye out for the collectibles. There's the city map. And it's explaining about collectibles now, so there we go. Ah, uh, yes. I remember this shop. I guess old Clara is still in the business. Hmm, I guess old Claire is still in the business, hey? What can you say to that? I want to go up here. Can we go up here and have a look around? Will it allow us? Oh, yes, it will. And I think I've just seen a collectible of some sort up here. There we go. Our first, I think, collectible. New car part.
Just have a good wonder round. Can you go out through the door? No, you can't. Can't get in the van yet. Nope. No, it won't let us get in the van yet. Because we must. We've got something else to do, haven't we? <laughs> I've lost what I'm supposed With me going round and having to wander round, I've forgotten what I'm actually supposed to do here now. Let's just go back in the office, go back to the, uh, the laptop just to uh, remind myself what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, uh, upgrades. Install the radio. There we go. This should make my drives even nicer. And I just noticed it did say that in the top right hand corner of the screen. Oh yeah. The uh, the phone's going now. It's getting busy. Who's this? Hey kid, I was wondering where you were. Oh, Clara. It's good to hear your voice. I wanted to thank you for doing all this for your dad. You know I'm always here to help. Yeah, I know. I appreciate it a lot. I actually have something to get you started. Take a look at the shop tab on your PC and you'll see what I mean. Everything's on the house at the moment, but remember that this is a very important part of your day. Planning ahead will save you money and time. You'll know what I mean before long. See you soon, kid. That feels like a lot already. No wonder Dad always seems so overworked. Playing the game so far just on the mouse, but I've just picked up my controller and I can drive the vehicle on the controller. Oh, over there on the left hand side, looks like there's a collectible. Can we get out the van and have a walk up? Uh, I don't think we can. Pressing a few keys. Uh, no, I don't think we can get out the van actually. I'm not sure. Let's just have a look. Bottom right hand corner now. Does it say we can get out the van? Is there any keys? No, don't think we can. So how do I get that collectible the other side of that fence? I think I'm going to have to drive around there and uh, see if I can uh, pick it up. Driving, my oh my driving is actually quite terrible. It's not actually easy to uh, to drive. It's not the best controls. I have played better games regarding how the uh, vehicles behave. Uh, I can't get through this gap here. There we go. We've done it. Right. What do we get up here? It looks like is it another car part? Could be. Yeah. Car part. Can't go into this area. It's very Grand Theft Auto graphics, isn't it? The map. It's uh, so. I think I'm smashing my van up here. How do I get out of here? I can't. I've hit a tree. I think. Have I hit that tree? I'm going to need a new food truck at the, if I carry on like this. There we go. Are we out? Right, there we go. I think we've got to go to some sort of uh, warehouse or supermarket to pick up our. Um, 
stock, aren't we? Our burgers, buns, maybe cheese and sauces and things. So uh, driving around with Dad was always so fun. Let's go find that. Although this doesn't exactly feel the same, it's still nice. Clara was always so nice to Dad and I. It'll be great to see a familiar face. Claire was always so nice to Dad and I. Well, at the beginning of the game, it did actually say she was in the business, didn't it? So, you know, make up, make up whatever you think of that. Here's Claire. everything you need. I just want to help you as much as I can. Be careful where you store your food. Freshness is very important to the quality of your ingredients, and it decreases slower or faster, depending on where you store them. Good, good. Meat should always be in your fridge. Remember that if you want it to stay fresh for longer. Always keep your meat in the fridge if you want uh, it to stay fresh. Probably should save the fridge space for the buns for something else. That's right. Buns can easily go on your shelves. I thought she was going to say buns could easily go off then. How do I how do I get my buns on the shelf? Oh, here we go. That's it, that's how we do it. You come by my shop anytime, as long as it's open. Do remember that ordering from your garage first will get you a nice discount. That deal I had with your dad still stands. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, you know Serenity Park? The one you and Dennis used to play at when you were little? Lots of people. It's a great place to set up, you know. You should check it out. Okay, so let's have a little nose around. We've got to find Serenity Park. Can we go down here? Oh, there's a pedestrian there. What happens when we... Oh, there we go. Oh, got an achievement for that as well. Looks like we've... Um... Yeah. You can. Why me? Kill Why? pedestrians, it looks like, in your food truck. Right, Serenity Park. I can't drive this truck. The controls to drive this truck just aren't the best. Never it's truly understood. Really clunky. So much about this. Here we now, go. I kind of get it. Serenity Park. It's where Dennis and I used to play when we were kids. Now this could be interesting because if this is a true food truck simulator, if you're in the food business, I expect it's very chaotic. You've got to be good at multitasking, and it's going to get very, very busy. Hey kid, I know this can be a bit overwhelming at first, but don't worry. I'll help. Thanks, Clara. This does feel like a lot. First things first, turn on the radio. It'll make everything much nicer. Great idea. Now, look at the monitors inside your truck. They have all the information you need about the orders you get and the recipes inside. Oh my gosh. That is going to make things so much easier. I knew you'd like it. Now, turn on the grill machine. This is going to get interesting. Uh, Clara, it's not working. We ran right. out of gas. You need to take the gas bottle first and put it in the gas machine. 
Now, if you can't hear any music coming through that radio, I have actually turned in-game music right down. So, um, just just for YouTube, in case you get copyright Dad, strikes and all that business. <laughs> so, the music is actually turned off. So, in-game, there will be music. But, I've got it turned off. Now, any bacon and meat. That's right. Just put them on the grill. A small tip. Hovering over them in the grill will show you their current state. Okay, first time Be cooking. Careful not to burn or undercook them. Different I, customers. I think like them done I think I will burn these. The assembly table. Taking the burger box now will save you time okay. later. All where's, right, where where, do I find? Where's the burger box? Open the first shelf on the left under the assembly table. The one covered with stickers. Burger boxes should be inside. Oh, I see. Okay, you're gonna need a base for that burger. Take one of the buns to use on the cutting board. Oh, right. There's a cutting board around here somewhere. Oh my gosh, I haven't a clue what I'm actually supposed to be doing here. Everything is burning. I guess, I guess, playing it for the first time, until you actually get used to your food truck and how the game mechanics and everything works, one is expected to make an absolute disaster of um, my first uh, my first order here. Everything's burnt. This is just, oh, panic, panic. I feel like a mad chef who doesn't know how to cook, well I don't, and uh, most definitely don't know my way around this food truck at the moment. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully, we will get better. Fridge, we need the buns, where are the buns? They're not in the fridge, oh my gosh, this is all going wrong. Right, buns, where are the buns? They're in the drawer. Bun, place the bun on the cutting board. Now we need the knife. How do we get the knife? Drop the bun, where's the knife? How do, get the, how do we get the tool wheel up? I've forgotten. Drop the bun. This is, uh, this is, oh, this is, this is all going pear shaped. This is going to be a terrible first order. Right, bottom right hand corner actually tells you to press the tab. How did I miss that? Remember to always look at the on-screen instructions. Right, finally, got the knife. It wasn't in the top drawer. You've got to press the wheel tool um, thingamajiggy. Right, how do I cut this? All pieces have been cut. Okay, right, so we cut the bun. How do we get rid of the knife? Good work. Now you have to grill those. And remember, the bottom bun always goes first. Oh, in the meantime, no. why don't you start cutting the tomatoes? Oh, yeah. Cut this, grill that, cook this, move that, chop that. I reckon I'm going to burn these. Got to turn the grill on first, haven't you? Right, who want, who likes burnt buns? Looks almost as good as the ones Dad used to make, I think. Right, what are these, uh, what are these buns looking like? Are they burning? I think I should be, oh no, 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 you left them on too long, Lovell, she burnt them. Oh, well, never mind. Where do, where do I actually place these down, these buns? Can I just, uh, maybe just, this is a Pacific order, do they go on, on the chopping board? No, they don't. No, no, can't drop them on the chopping board. Can't drop my burnt buns. My well done, my well done buns. Let's just put them on the grill. Oh, put them in the box. Right, I yeah. think you can finish this burger box on your own. Okay. I'll be here. Oh, 
doing here? Why have I got this piece of meat? You cannot put... That's some cooked meat. That's meat well done. Right. Okay. Uncooked meat. Why did I get that uncooked meat? I'm getting all confused here. Let's just cook that uncooked meat. Right. Assembly table. I'm not very good at following instructions, as you can see. We're in a panic here. Panic! Panic! We don't know what we're doing. Try not being this one. I guess the customer's gone home by now, to be honest. I most certainly wouldn't hang around waiting for this uh, burger. Okay, so you've actually got to be good at following on-screen instructions, it seems here. You cannot ignore the on-screen instructions when you first start playing this game because, as you can see, it all goes pear-shaped. So, what have I done wrong? Tomato, tomato, tomato. You need a tomato, Wobbles. Get the tomato. Okay, how do I drop it? Drop the tomato. We need, the, we need, we need a knife. Get the knife. So we've got to chop this tomato up. Very important, you've got to follow the on-screen instructions else it all goes wrong. You've got to be good. You've got to be extremely good at two things here, or three things. One, knowledge of cooking. Two, be able to follow on-screen instructions. And three, be good at, exceedingly be good at multitasking. This game is already getting me stressed out and keeping me very, very busy. So this is one game you cannot ignore the on-screen instructions when you first start playing. Now, when I play games, I, I tend to not to take any notice of the uh, instructions. Maybe it's just me. I just tend to dive straight into a game and just pick it up as I go along. But this one, you've actually got to pay close attention to what the tutorial here is telling you um, and I, I have read in comments that the tutorial is quite long and once you've completed the maybe a mini story mode tutorial type thing I believe it goes into a more sandbox game um, with like three row elements in it I Good think that's work, just what I picked up in now. In Place uh, comments the on uh, the Steam the order bag. Um, Double forums, check it's the right on the one Steam page. And give it to the client. I don't think my client is going to be very happy with this burger. Where is the client? There we go. Order number one. Absolute complete disaster. There you go, madam. Enjoy it. I most certainly wouldn't pay for that. Well, that was expected. Bad. We did get some money, though. We got $15 for that exceptionally bad <sighs> burger. First order. I guess it runs in the family, huh? Prestige will not only let you unlock new machines for your truck, it will also <laughs> grant you entry no. to other zones of the city. Keep that in mind and take good care of it. Thanks, Clara. I don't know if I'd be able to do this on my own. Oh, no. Order it's number really two. No trouble? Well, I think you can handle yourself from now on, but be careful. Not everyone is going to be as patient. Clients don't like cold orders. Time is money. Okay, order number two. Um, I don't think my previous customer was very happy with my, uh, with my burger. <laughs> with my, what's, oh no, look at this, order number two, order number three. It's all stacking up now. Hell, panic mode. Um, go to the menu. Oh my gosh, what do we do, what do we do? Oh, all in a panic here. This is, uh, I couldn't work in a food truck in real life, could you? You've got to be a certain type of person to be able to do this job. It's just... Utter chaos. It's all go, go, go. Right, look, buns, buns. We need a bun. Uh, now we need to cut the bun over here, Pobbles. Cut the bun, put the bun down, drop the bun, get the knife. Where's the knife? Get the knife, cut the bun, cross the middle. Cut the bun, cut the bun, cut the bun. Quickly, quickly, we've got customers waiting now. Cut the bun, under pressure now. Right, bun, pick the bun up. Pick the bun up, over to the grill. 
over to the grill, drop the bun, go and get the, what's cooking here? Oh, throw that over there. Um, get the other bun, chuck it on the grill. Is the grill on? The grill, is the grill actually on? I think it is. Right, what's going on here? We, uh, well done, she wants meat, well done. Turn the grill on, that would help. Right, oh, this is, oh, this is difficult. Right, watch this, well done. Don't burn the buns. Don't burn the buns. Keep your eye on the buns. Nobody likes burnt buns. Well, that's what you get it. Right. Are them okay? Right, drop the buns. Throw the buns on here. Cheese. Uh, there we go. How do I assemble it? I forgot. I'm all in a panic now. I forgot. Put the bun down. Right, get this. Chuck it over here. It's just in case you burn it to the extent turn the grill back on. Hands are full. Drop it. Drop it. Just drop the meat. Can't drop me meat. Right. Cheese. We need cheese. Throw that down here. Why can't I drop it? Drop the cheese. Right, there we go. Pick the bun up. Let's move the buns over here. I think maybe cooking a little bit more. Right, I think that's it. Is, is that upset them? I don't want to burn them. Right, drop the buns. Right, how do we assemble all this now? We've got to... Uh, what did we do when we first did it? I've forgotten what we... I've forgotten. I've forgotten. Can't assemble it. What do we do? Box. We need the burger box. Where's the burger box? Burger box is not in there. Where's the burger box? We need to use the burger box, don't we? That's it. We've got to assemble the food in the burger box. Right, I thought we would have assembled the food first and then put it in the burger box, but I've never worked in a food truck, so obviously they put, they put the buns in the food box first. There we go, that is fantastic. Let's take it over to the customer. Customer, customer. We're all done, yeah. What order is it? Number two. There we go. I think that's right. Oh, God, look at that. Fantastic. We got one right. Second one we got right. Right, this is a massive learning curve. What does the customer say? Did we get a tip? Order number three. Good job. Yeah, you see, he was happy with that. We did that perfect. So we've got to cut the tomato. Knife, get the knife. how much that burger is at the moment on the screen they seem to go down in price but who would pay a hundred dollars plus for a burger but then the, the the price seems to drop the longer it takes you to uh, assemble them i most definitely would not buy a burger from this uh, food from this food truck as well how many orders are we going to have to complete here I suppose it's I suppose it's the possibility it's going to keep us going until we've run out of stock here just teaching us how to uh, assemble and cook the items um, yeah it's a lot of work a lot of work this game is most definitely going to be keeping you busy
Well, that didn't go too well, did it? What's she going to say? I'm not going to pay a dime for this. <laughs> That's to be expected. That was terrible. Absolutely horrendous. Order number four. It's a, it's, it's a cheese. Oh, it's got bacon as well. Oh, no. Cheese, cheeseburger, bacon, fig in the jiggy. See, I don't eat burgers. So, I just, would, I, do, I, I just don't eat burgers. Right, cut the gun. Takes a while to get used to um, how to get all the tools and things. I suppose once you got used to the game, it, you, you, um, well, once I've got used to the game, I'm going to speed up pretty terrible at the moment. Um, massive learning curve for me at the moment. As possibly it will be for you guys. Unless you're a pro player, an expert, there's always one, isn't there? Right. I don't know my food truck, I don't know my way around the food truck either. I should do by now. Orders are stacking up, oh my gosh. This is stressful. I guess it is really sim like this, because I suppose it's like this in real life. But I suppose maybe, maybe in real life you actually prep the food a little bit differently i don't know maybe you've got your tomatoes already chopped up i don't know um never worked on one and if i did i, I think i'd get the sack after 10 minutes <laughs> see See, I guess if you're really good, you could start on the other order as well, but that's just too much for me at the moment. I, I, I'm going to do one at a time. You've got to be, yeah, you've got to be really good at multitasking and know what you know exactly what you're doing. Once you've once you've got that, it's going to be really easy. But when you first play it and you I haven't got a clue. It all goes wrong. So I'm showing you, or I'm showing you how not to do it. Orders are stacking up. It's 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 getting chaos, right? Okay. What order was this number? Number four, I want it. Are they happy? Average, average. Yeah, I'm happy with that. The customer might not be happy with that, but I'm happy with that. There you go. What's she going to say? No comment. Thanks a bunch. Oh, thanks a bunch. Okay. The price is dropping down. The slower you are in prepping and saving, the lower cash you get for your products. Now, it's not like that in real life, is it? I don't think it is. I don't go to a burger van and uh, expect to pay $150 for a burger. <laughs> if I was to buy one.
there we go. Order number five. Bad. And we got an achievement for it. <laughs> That's about right, isn't it? Didn't do it on time, I think it said. It was late. Are you trying to scam me? Are you trying to scam me, she says. Possibly. How many of these orders have we got to do in this tutorial? Let's see if we can get this one right. Your hands are full. Toast the buns. Don't burn the buns. Assembly box. Oh, this could be the last order. We've only got order number six on the table, so that's... That's, uh, no other orders have come in, so there's no pressure on this one. I must have been them. Beginning to find my way around the burger truck now, around the food truck, should I say? So cook and serve orders to reach first prestige level. Oh, I've got to keep going, Abra, until I've reached level one. Okay. So I get it. So you, it looks like you can't progress in the game and leave this burger truck until you've reached level one. But I think we'll run out of products probably before we reach level one. Bad. On time, but bad. Yeah, I didn't do that right. Not following customer's instructions. Order number seven wants a cheeseburger. Okay. What the hell? He wasn't very happy with that one, was he? Did he even? Right, okay, here we go. Stacking up, it looks like, as well. This day in this food truck has been an absolute disaster, but um, this day on the job, you're just learning, aren't you? This day on the job, it's all about learning, learning the trade, and that's what I'm trying to do, if not terribly. Absolutely terrible at playing this game at the moment, but what do you think of it? Put some comments in the comment section below. What do you think of the game? I think it's put across just how chaotic it could be on a uh, on a food truck very well. It's pretty good. It is pretty good. I think if I was over overall critical about it, I think it needs slightly better optimization. Because I have noticed a couple of stutters here and there. And I know I'm on a 1080 Ti. Oh, good. And we got an achievement for that. See, I'm getting better. Level one. I've Great leveled up. Job, We've kid. done it. Level I one. I knew you could do it. But this was only the beginning. You know, your father liked to have bring his truck day. to every corner of the city. See if you can find another nice spot. You'll need new stuff for that, though. So I left you a little something at your garage. Another gift? Clary, you shouldn't have. You've already done so much already. Shush now. It's what your dad would have wanted. But do visit me again. Now that you're earning some money, you'll have to put it to good use. Ordering first will get you a nice discount. And the quicker you get here afterwards, the bigger the discount will be. See you soon. That grill's looking pretty dirty. I think I have some cleaning tools around somewhere.
Okay, so it looks like I've just got to finish off this ore there. And uh, clean the grill, I think it mentioned. So yeah, I actually found, you know, even though all the instructions were up on the screen, I wasn't really paying attention. You, you've most definitely got to pay attention what the game is telling you, and it does actually tell you what to do. Um, I just I just wasn't paying attention to the on-screen instructions. I never do in any game uh, whatsoever. But it's very important, it would seem, that you have actually got to pay attention to the on-screen instructions, most definitely on this game. So, this was my first Let's Play. Food truck simulator. I think I've most definitely got to come back and play it again because I'm still obviously leaning in it here. So we'll just finish off this order, clean the grill, and uh, I'll, I'm most definitely going to do a follow up video on this at the next place I've got to go to. There we go. Average because it was late. Too slow. Too slow. Okay, let's go and clean the grill and. Uh, Round, round it up for the day. Okay, so the grill cleaning tool is on the uh, is on the tool wheel. Clean the grill up, and that's it for the day. So there you go. That's my first look. This is my first look at food truck simulator. Not try and sell you the game or anything like that. We just do the let's plays and uh, play the games. Um, it's up to you guys whether you like the game or not. Um, so look out for part two. I'm most definitely going to come back and uh, do a uh, follow-on video.